Prince Alexander Oblensky, as his name implies, was born into Russian nobility. A year after he was born, his family were forced to flee their homeland to escape the Russian Revolution and subsequent Bolshevik takeover that took place there in 1917. As a result, Alexander grew up in Muswell Hill in London and later attended Oxford University. He excelled in sport and his exploits as a rapid try finisher earned him the nickname the Flying Prince. He was first selected for England in 1936, but of course there was a problem. Obolensky was a Russian. A British passport was arranged, but question marks over his nationality remained. As he took to the field for his debut against New Zealand in 1936, the Prince of Wales himself asked Obolensky, by what right do you presume to play for England? Tragically, the Prince only represented England four times. In 1938, he answered the call of his adopted home by joining the Royal Air Force Auxiliary, for whom he would lay down his life in 1940. But Obolensky would bequeath the legacy. He is remembered not just for his tries, but for aiding our understanding of nationhood and as a regal example of sporting inclusiveness. Obolensky scored two magnificent tries that day. For the first, he gathered the ball, darted in between two opponents, and around the outside of another to put touch down in that corner. For the second, he adjusted his body to make the catch before following his run diagonally across the pitch around four players to touch down for a second try. The crowd were on their feet. England had beaten New Zealand for the first time and all question marks over Obolensky's nationality ceased. 